Welcome to this tutorial. In the past tutorial, we did something amazing, which is make sure that only these two, these two menu items display only when you view a view page. So, which means if we go back to the index page, the edit and the delete options would disappear, which is really cool. But we created another problem, which means if any anybody can go to anybody's profile and see the edit and delete options, which is not proper. I'm logged in as Trump Hillary. And I'm viewing the profile of Dave Ozalo and um, I'm able to see the edit and delete. It is not proper. So the proper thing to do is that only the admin of this platform and Trump Hillary can edit their profile. Can see only these two options. Only admin and the person viewing this profile. So that's what we're going to try and tackle here. There are many ways to achieve that. But I'm just going to try and put you through other ways so that you can see things that are obtainable in cake php from the code we wrote inside menu logged in elements we're just checking whether it's a view page before we can display these buttons we also need to check whether the guy that is viewing this the current guy that is logged in is the guy that owns this profile so we're going to check whether the guy logged in is the one that owns this profile or post or whatever thing that is being displayed here so we're just going to check whether is the person and then we're going to check whether the person uh, is or the person is an admin. So it's either they are the ones logged in or they are an admin before they can see these two options. So let's start right away. So we go to where we are calling this option, this element, and passing the variable to help us to determine or decide whether it's an admin or just an ordinary user. So we go to our default.ctp. And remember the code we have here. We're just passing in one variable called inflector. We will need to pass in another one to know whether a user is authorized. First of all, we are going to check. Let me go to the user view page. This is the user view page, which is what we are seeing here. Let us try and display the user's ID. Here, we can just display the user ID by saying um, echo. The variable for the user, as you can see down the page, is just user. So the ID is inside the ID. So we say echo ID print. And uh, we refresh. Our ID should pop up right here. The ID of the user. So we here we have it one. That's the ID of the user. And remember, if we're in a posts page, if this was posts, uh, it will be posts user underscore id it will not be post id again it will not be user underscore id for the post uh, model so but let's um, sort out that this user's own first so we now know that the variable for that kick php de declares um, automatically is the what is the name of the view so let's go and try and create this variable and pass it on so we come to the default page this already all already gives us the plural the singular but not the lower case. So if we if we echo this guy, we are going to get the singular of the current view, which is view, but not the lower case. If we go and say um, we have user, but we need this to be in lower case. So we use PHP functions of string to lower and say string to lower. And um, it's going to give us the lowercase of what we're looking for. So what we're looking for is lowercase of user and is correct. And this is just a string, but we need the content of the variable already. So this is what we need. We're trying to generate user because we know that the details of the user is inside the user. So what we're going to do right here is to say, assign this to a variable. And say uh, we can call it anything um, current view details. I don't even know whether that is the correct spelling of current. Okay, well, I'll continue with that. We can now say if so in PHP, if you have a string, I want to convert it to a variable. If this thing generates us a string. This generates a string that we're saving here, but we want to convert it to a variable in PHP. You can add another um, 
variable sign like this and you will achieve what you want so we are trying to achieve this so what we'll do is put this guy here and so if this slash id is equal to the id of the logged in user so we've gotten the id of the user that is viewing uh, the user that owns the owner of the profile the id of the owner of this profile we've gotten it with this and we're trying to get the id of the user that is logged in remember we saved it in auth auth user id if you can remember we have this up somewhere where we checked the we were able to use auth user look at it somewhere right here we used auth to get the details of the logged in user so i just picked the user id all right so what we can do right here is to um make sure that if we're using post you know when we're using when we're viewing a post model it will not be user id so what we're going to do is to declare this up here but let's continue first so we have this and um we are going to declare a variable that we can call is user authorized you can call your variable anything is false is false by default we're trying to see if a user is authorized to view that menu so it's false by default but if the user is the one that is logged in we can make it through so we can just change this and make it through and this solves a problem so the next thing we're going to do is to pass it in as a variable to the element so we just say i'll call it the same name i'll just say is user authorized so i'll say yes i'll just paste the value whatever value we have here is what we'll pass into this element so we can now go into our element and see if this is a view page and if the user is authorized is true if this is true we then display this so this pretty much solves our problem for the view page but we will have an error in the index page so if we come to our index uh, if, we, if we come to any page that is not a view page it will have an error because that page wouldn't have this so but first of all let's check what we've done so far so right here if we refresh As you can see, Trump Hillary is trying to view Dave's profile and they are not able to see the log the those two I items. But if Trump Hillary views Trump Hillary's profile, um, he will be able to see that. So if I go to the back, if I go back or to index, I told you it will throw an error in the index. We'll fix this shortly. So if I view Trump Hillary's profile, I am Trump Hillary because I'm logged in as Trump Hillary and I'm able to see these two items. Cool. So that is solved and then we are going to go back and fix this the reason why this is throwing an error is that this is an index page that doesn't have the view variable this is just uh, an index page in the index page the user's variable is not there so we this is the variable that is available to us we need to use an, a for loop to get to this point which means in the index page this user variable is not available so we we have to check whether it's available first so we come here and we can check if it's set and see if the variable is set and cool so right with this in php we can just uh, make sure that it's um, this only works um, when it is set all right so if we come here and refresh we'll get rid of this error now the final thing we need to do is to make sure make it generic so that um, if it's a user's page cool if it's not then we use the user id instead of just the id so what we're expecting here is a singular so we, we can just say use an if statement if uh, this guy is equal to user yep it's user if it's a user then um our user view details current view details id 
is equal to user ID. So, but in case it's not, we can just say our current view uh, details is equal to cool. So, right here, we're just going to use this variable instead. Cool. So, um, just to run through what we just did, um, we have this printing up something that we don't want, something like a user. We had to convert it to a lowercase. But before we convert it, we need to check whether the, it's a user um, a model that we're working with. Check if it's user model. If it's user model, then we know that the user ID is saved in an ID. But if it is not, by default, it should be the, the ID of the user should be saved in user ID. So uh, once it's saved, the next thing we're going to do is um, check if user is authorized. For a user to be authorized, that user have to be the same user that owns the profile. So for you to see a date and a date, you have to be the same user. But also we need to check if that we are on a view page and that variable is set. So we checked it here. And then if, if all these conditions are satisfied, we set it to true, otherwise it is false. And then we pass whatever value we have here to the element. The element simply checks it. So the next step we we'll see in the next video is to check, we'll add something else, another condition to check whether this guy is an admin. But before we get to that point, we need to create something called roles. So users that are signing up will have different roles. So we can know who is an admin and who is not. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video. I know this might be a bit difficult for your mind to comprehend, but um, just take it easy, type it out by yourself, and you will understand the logic behind it. All right, see you.